thanks to God that I am able to share and you are able to listen. So my today's topic is like how you can create different different how you can just configure your API base URLs through different different schemes, right? So quickly without wasting the time, I'll go there and I'll tell you like how you can create it. My app project you will create or the fresh on your desktop. And now listen one thing here one project is available in that project what you need to do debug and release mode is there you need to copy the uh, those debug and release for your schemes like schemes suppose your QA your tester team testing team is saying we have demo staging production and QA environment then how you can just create them right so it will be your QA environment you can just repeat the process for release or suppose you can just say QA environment and you can say demo and you can say release demo and the last one will be your uh, production oh, yeah it will be prod and the final will be DPP duplicate release DEV so you need to repeat the same process like I'm just doing. So DEV, prod, demo, and QA and local environment will be there. So total five environments are there. How you will manage them? You will go there. You'll create a local. Uh, uh, you'll create a class. The class name will be server config something. And this server config, what it will do? It will check class server config let stat uh, i'm sorry static let shared server config and that will be my server configuration class right so this is the class now a variable will be there which will be represent base url and that should con come from my selected environment so i'll create a function uh, setup server config something like that and in that what I'll do hash f it will be the local then I need to key like give the key like that and self dot base URL will be what that I need to just add here I'll create a public enum and this will be my base URL enum and it will be the local in this case like I will just give the raw value of a string and it can be https and xyz dot local or something like that anything in the local I'm just saying like it will be a dev only and same cases you can just repeat for rest cases right so one will be the QA then it will be a QA and one will be the prod then it will be a prod and at the end it will be the demo then it will be the demo for testers now this you need to use here base dot what we selected local dot row and you will copy this and say else if conditions will be same it will be the QA then you need to make the QA and so on right so it's pretty simple now prod now how you will define those active compilation flags prod q and local that i'll tell you and at the end you need to make nf 
So this is the function, but still remember we did not create a local QA prod and demo things. So it will not call there if you will make the breakpoints. By default, it will go with the debug environment, right? So what I'll call this on app delegate here, like server config dot share dot setup setup server configuration like that. So now the main thing you need to go and just do somewhere else. You need to select this my app build setting and active compilation active compilation will be there yeah here active compilation conditions so you saw active compilation conditions are there already by default debug will be the debug and all things are coming because we copied from the debug only but what we need to do we need to go there and plus sign and this normal debug will work for us like local right so same for normal release we need to give the local like that then you need to give the same you need to repeat the process for everything demo then you need to repeat the process for BEV and so on all right pretty simple so that we done here and also in the debug debug is fine but we need to add the demo here and we need to add the dev here and we need to add the prod here and we need to add the qa here that's all right so all places remember debug and release both places your uh, environment flag should be there like active compilation flag should be there now the last part you need to manage the schemes you'll go there and you will see my app is there only you will just set my app dev my app qa my app demo and my app prod right like that you can just create for environment now your responsibility is to like uh, check their ad the, you need to edit their schemes one by one so i'm just repeating the process for all so once if it will be the my app then i'll go and i want the behavior like whatever existing build configuration whatever things are there release debug I don't want to disturb them right now into the dev into the dev what i will go and just do i'll check whatever it is there into the run i will convert debug dev that's all if it is a debug debug dev if it is a production product release dev if it is a analyze analysis debug dev like that release is there then release dev like that you can just change them quickly all the selected things it will take some small amount of time for sure but yeah things will be perfect In the run also debug QA demo then I need to go for the demo for the same things I'll go debug demo debug demo release demo analysis debug demo and the release demo now the final selection will be the prod and release prod analysis debug prod profile release prod and a test debug prod and run will be the debug prod that's all so now 
everything is all set now once you will make a breakpoint on your server configuration here and you will run the app and select the scheme things will work over there so I'm testing this my app from the my app which is local so it should come here once you will hit this it will come here yes so application launched and inside the local it is working right now I want to tell you I'll change the TEV it should come into line number 20 I think breakpoint was not well yeah uh, DB, my DEV I did not register the DEV as well so that's why sorry yeah I need to register DEV as well because local is different and DEV is different so I will register mo one more case here DEV right and it will be my DEV then again I'll rerun uh, actually local uh, will be the different because yeah so now can you see it is coming on DEV perfectly so so on like you can just check it out and all the things will work perfectly now the last scenario I want to tell you how you can just uh, check up this environment using ports right so what you need to do you can just go to the desktop and you can create a port file here so you will open the terminal and you will go there and just set it up like that uh, cd and now what you need to do you can say port install uh, port init once you will do the port init one file will come here now you need to do port install and it will install the port and your app will convert like this so now suppose you are in existing project and which is loaded with the my ports then how I need to cons uh, can work over there right so for this what I'll do like right now it have the port situation is looking like that if you will go to the ports all the environments are there right so tomorrow if new environment will come what you need to do you don't need to do anything otherwise you will confuse confuse once you will add one more uh, scheme what you need to do suppose I'm just let uh, let me add this as well I'm just adding one more uh, scheme here so suppose I'll say uh, debug configuration and I'll say other something like that and release will be my other environment and if I'm just creating other that means I'm creating another uh, scheme as well so what I need to do I can create and manage one more scheme which will be my app and it will be other now what you need to do for this you don't need to forget to add the other into the build setting uh, active compiled compilation conditions so here like you will see other is available so for the other you need to change this to the other and release and debug other will be there then you need to change this to other right like that so now what what thing you need to do is again like if you are just selecting other then it should be debug other debug other release other analysis other and archive other right 
but what you need to do at the end in the ports it is not available right other is not port don't know about this thing right so once you will run this maybe it can give you error right so what error will be there framework it will say like uh, actually what you are just using uh, one thing is not available debug other right into the icon simulator so for get it out from this what you need to do you need to do this port install only once that is more than sufficient otherwise you will be in problem then again you will see the port other will be there right other is there automatically and you will go and just check the application there also uh, if you will go and just check internal things of this information ports will be there ports my app is there and for the other also so it will take a copy and it will create a debug other and everything right so and it will run, run perfectly so once you will run this it will run perfectly so that's all about uh, uh, everything about the server configuration for the base URL only that part you can do with uh, a uh, dot configuration class is also there xc uh, config class is also there but for the simplicity i just created this so that quickly you can just implement in your project projects running projects right so you can just create the schemes and better you need to give builds from these schemes so that development will go smoothly right if you like this video then please just share with the, with your friends and subscribe it for future updates thank you